So on my previous video, I showed you how to create a WordPress website for affiliate marketing, where I showed you how to get a domain and hosting, download WordPress, create a post and change themes. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your WordPress website for affiliate marketing, okay? So before watching this video, I recommend you watch that video first, because here we're going to be creating pages. I'm going to show you how to create a menu to add your pages. We're also going to add some plugins, and I'm also going to show you how you can place affiliate products for your WordPress website. Now, WordPress is a powerful platform. I recommend if you want to go pro, if you want to be really serious with affiliate marketing, I recommend you get started with WordPress. The only thing that is going to cost you is domain and hosting, okay? But they're very affordable. Hosting is going to cost you about less than three, uh, $3 a month, while domain is just going to cost you about $12 a year. All right, so like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and turn on those notifications so that you get alerted for every video that I drop. So the first thing that we are going to do is to create a page, okay? We left off with a post. Okay, this was the post that we created the last time, all right? So what we're going to do is create a page. So you just head over to your dashboard and click on Pages on your WordPress. Okay, you're just going to find it here on the menu. And then here what we have is a sample page, okay? These are the ones that come with WordPress, they come by default. So if you look at sample page, this is how it looks like. Okay, it doesn't really have anything. So what you're going to do is to delete your sample page and you also have your privacy policy. Okay, you can also preview this. Okay, so this is a private policy. This also comes with WordPress. So what you're going to do, let's delete the sample page, All right? We can maybe just leave the privacy policy for now. So to add a page, just click on add new over here, All right? Now, again, you're going to add a page related to what it is that your website is about. This particular website that I created was about uh, starting an online business. So it's going to be related. It's going to be centered around uh, online businesses or just businesses in general. If you don't have any ideas on titles to create for your website, you can always use ChatGPT. So let's head over to ChatGPT. Okay. And you can pretty much just ask ChatGPT to give us ideas, uh, menu ideas for our website okay so i can say okay so i told you to give me menus for ideas on my online business so it's given me home all right so we have home we have about us we have products and services online so okay so this ones here are pretty generic about about us and products and services and then it continues in saying we have online store we have blog and articles testimonials faqs contact us Okay, so these are the things that you can actually include as your menu, all right? So we're going to start with home, okay? Let's come back over here to our WordPress website. Okay, so we just enter home over here and then just click on publish, publish again. Okay, now if you view the page, the home page, and this is how it looks like. Okay, so it's pretty plain. Does It doesn't have anything yet. We have not placed anything yet. So let's close this and come back go back to our dashboard now we can refresh this and now as you see we have home over there now we're going to add another one so what i'm just going to do here i'm going to add some of these menus that chat gpt has given us okay all right so i've just added all the menus okay i've not really added all of them just you know the basic ones that are normally there on blogs and websites so about blog uh, contact home and services i think i think i'm just going to remove this privacy policy okay so now it looks better so now what we're going to do next is to add them on a menu all right now a menu is the one that you normally see at the top left like for example if i go to my website you can see we have these over here okay these are menus so this is where we want to add our pages okay so if we come back to our wordpress we're going to head over on your menu over here on your left hand side you're going to see appearance and then you're going to click on menus so first over here, as you can see, it says you're going to have to give your menu a name. So let's give it a name. Let's just call it menu or my menu. And then set it as primary menu. Okay. Once you're done, just click on create menu. And then now, as you can see, you have the pages that we added over here. Okay. They're all listed here. So what you pretty much want to do is to add them onto your menu. You're going to select all of them. Click on add to menu. Okay. And as you can see, we have them over here. And you can actually rearrange them if you want. You can just move them up and down. You can put services down, maybe about us at the top. Okay, you can arrange them the way you want. So I'm going to place home at the top. It's normally the first one. Maybe contacts should be last. Okay, and then you have blogs and services. 
and all that okay now once you are done you can click on save menu and so now if we head on to one of our posts a post that we created on our previous video which is this one here click on view now as you can see we have our menus at the top over here okay now we click on home it doesn't have anything else we have blog services about and contact okay and now if you want to edit any of them if you want to like add content to any of them you can just click on edit over here okay and then here is where you can add you know your content you can place your image so say for example you want to place an image for about we can upload our image over here so let's just get an image uh, on google or pixels actually let's go to pixels and i'm just going to type over here business and i'm just going to quickly download any image over here let me go with this one come back to our blog and we can actually upload it from here okay so just like that and again you can you know play around with it you can stretch it if you want you can just make it smaller uh, you can also center line okay by clicking on this so you have also a full width if you want to go full width you can do that if you want to align it to the center you can also do that all right i'm just going to leave it like this and then now we're going to add some text just click on this plus over here okay click on paragraph and then here below your about you can write what you are maybe you're about or what your website is about and once you're done you can now click on update all right so now i want to show you how you can remove this as you can see it's actually awkward over here because you never see the menu menu name on the page so we're going to get rid of this and we're going to do that using a plugin okay which takes us to our next topic this is how to add plugins so we're going to head over to our dashboard to go to your dashboard just hover over the name of your website over here and click on dashboard and then head over to plugins click on add new so the first plugin that we're going to add is called title remover okay that's one that's going to remove that title that you saw on the menu so we're just going to type over your title remover okay so it's this one over here click on install now and click on activate okay so now we're going to head over to our about page and now we're going to click on edit and now as you can see you have hide title okay this is going to add the title click on that click on update and now if you view the page you can see we have it gone okay so that's our first plugin very helpful uh, let's go to another plugin just click on add new now the next plugin that i want to add is called easy table of contents this is one that normally shows you on post blogs where you see click on table of contents now it shows you a list of content of what the post has so let me just show you what i mean if i go back to my website and scroll down over here as you can see we have this table of contents this is what i'm talking about now if you click on this it's going to show what is contained on this post okay so if we come back over here we're going to type table of contents and they're going to download the first one here called easy table of contents now what you always want to look out for when you're downloading plugins is the number of active installations as you can see this one has over 400,000 plus this one here has 300,000 plus 300,000 plus although typically you'll always find the one with the highest at the top over here okay usually the one at the top left All right so let's click on install now and click on activate now another plugin that you want to install is a backup plugin okay this one's going to backup your website it's very very important because sometimes maybe your website can crash or have some form of fatal error or maybe this is just something that you edited and and you want to go back to the you know previous version uh, you can use this backup plugin okay so the one that we're going to install is called updraft okay so here on search plugin let's just type updraft okay so updraft plus this one here click on install now and click on activate so from here you're going to have to set it up so click on press here to start okay first of all you want to close this backup you don't want to backup anything now what you want to do is head over to settings okay now as you can see here it has a files backup schedule so this is manual what you want to do you want it to backup for you automatically okay now if you click on this you can see you can backup every two hours every four hours 8 12 what i normally set up mine is daily okay it backs up every day including the database uh, database backup so also this is daily here you can set up the number of copies okay so i don't think two is necessary i always leave mine as one for each so you want one backup copy for each of these and then down here you're going to have to choose your storage okay your remote storage so if you have dropbox you can do that but most people have google drive so i'm going to select google drive okay just like that and then scroll down over here 
you can sign in with Google, but first what you want to do, you want to scroll down, click on save changes, which will take you back up over here. So you're going to click on sign in with Google. So here's where you're going to select your account, okay, your email account. If you have multiple email accounts, you can select one of them, or if you have one, just sign in with your Google account, okay, and then it's going to start backing up immediately. Okay, it's very, very helpful. I recommend you use it. And now I want to show you one more plugin to install, okay. This one is called Thirsty Affiliates. Okay, this is a plugin that allows you to, you know, edit your affiliate links to look, you know, to look pretty. It's kind of like a Bitly, okay. It's actually the Bitly version for WordPress, but you can do so much more with Thirsty Affiliates. So we're going to click on here. We're going to click on Add New. And then here, you're just going to type Thirsty Affiliates or just type Thirsty and it's going to show up over here. So this is the one that I'm talking about. I'm going to click on Install Now and Activate. And now, as you can see, we have all our plugins these are the main plugins that every wordpress users should have okay and now i'm going to show you how to place affiliate products using this particular plugin okay i'm going to show you how to shorten those affiliate links using thirsty affiliate so let's look for a product to promote and i'm going to be using clickbank for this example clickbank actually has the product in my niche it should be in e-business and in marketing go to click on this and then i'll just grab any over here i'm just going to quickly grab uh, let's go for the highest paying, which is uh, this one here. $271 is called the Conversio Bot. It's a leading AI bot platform and it has an OK gravity score. So let's see what it's all about. So this here is the sales page. So it says how we automatically added uh, 199,000 quality leads and generated sales in six months. So we're going to look for a title over here, a catchy title. Okay, so maybe we can use this one here transform your website into one automated leads and sales bot okay let's copy this come back to our wordpress website dashboard so let's head over to um posts so we're going to use this previous post that we created and i'm going to click on edit okay so i'm just going to place it anywhere here i like placing it at the bottom just before conclusion okay so i'm just going to click on plus over here click on paragraph and then i can just paste it there all right now, as you can see, we have this TA here. This is the Thirsty Affiliate plugin that we just installed for customizing our links. But now you don't want to click it from here. So what we're going to do is to go back to our dashboard. So let's first save this, click on update. Let's uh, view posts, okay? And then we're going to head over to Thirsty Affiliate. So we're going to click on add affiliate link, okay? And then here you're going to give the name of the product, which is this one here. So it's called a uh, Conversio Bot. Let me see if I can just copy this, come back here, and then just paste it there. And then here we want to enter our destination URL. Okay, this is now the, the, uh, the destination link where we're going to direct our traffic. So it's basically just our affiliate link. So let's come back here, click on promote, the top link, copy that, come back here, and then just paste it there. Okay, and now we can click on save link. And then this is how your link is now going to look like okay it's actually called a clocked url or a clocked link so as you can see it looks much better compared to this you know really ugly mixed numbers and letters and so now we're just going to copy our link over here click on copy come back to our website now we can highlight this and then click on this link over here and then now paste our clocked url okay and then just click on enter and now we are done adding our affiliate link so you can go and do this for, you know, multiple posts on your website. If you have different articles, you can go ahead and add, you know, affiliate links just like this. You can even just add this multiple times in the same post. So I can actually duplicate this, okay, by just clicking on that and then click on these three dots, click on duplicate. And then now you can move this, you know, wherever you want to take it. Maybe you want to take it maybe in the middle, All right? Maybe leave it somewhere there. Okay, and this is how you can pretty much do it, guys. This is pretty much the basic setup for a WordPress website. I've shown you how we can create your menus. Okay, so if I just click on preview in a new tab, okay, I've shown you how to create your menus, how to remove your title over here using the title remover plugin. I've shown you how to add table of contents. So this is how your table of content looks like. You can just make it shorter or you can expand it. You can actually even, you know, align this to the center, to the left, to the right. Okay, but you don't really want it to the right, or maybe to the left. Okay, I've shown you how to add your affiliate links, how you can cloak your affiliate links using the Thirsty Affiliate plugin. 
I also showed you on your previous video how to change the theme. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go back and check it out. Or you can click on this video that's popping on your screen right now. Otherwise, that's it. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one.